Hello, and welcome to the first episode of YG Collaborations, our introduction to all things YG Collaborations. My name is Yvette Valdenegro, and I and Gio will be your host, and this is my wonderful host, Giovanna Burgess-White. Hello, everyone. We're so excited to be here. Uh, we have been talking about doing this for I don't even know how long now. Um, and we've been super blessed during this pandemic to partner up. Before we even partner up, we collaborated. And now we are bringing YG collaborations to everybody else. So this episode is really just about us, who we are, what we do. Um, what is a collaboration? Because I'm sure everybody hears that now. Like, oh, collaboration is key. Uh, oh, competition over collab or collaboration over competition. And it's like, okay, great. But what does it really mean? Um, does it work for your business? Um, and what type of collaboration does your business need? And then as we go forward, we're going to be doing two episodes a month. We'll be bringing on guests that you can hear from and how collaborations really help their businesses. And then we'll also be giving you the differences between a collaboration and a partnership. So definitely more to come. Um, Yvette, why don't you let everybody know what you do and how we kind of fell into collaborating last March in 2020. All right. So yes, the whole reason we even have this going is because we found the number one key to our success for 2020 was collaborations. But what the world does that mean? So just kind of step a little bit backwards to bring everyone forward. I own a business and it's event planning business and I do weddings. Giovanna owns a venue and obviously she hosts weddings. During the pandemic, when everything got shut down, it really did become, okay, wait, I have this and I have a great business. I have this going, this business model is completely set up for a pandemic. You have a very successful business, but all of a sudden, obviously things change. We put our minds together, our efforts together and really went, how can we as a team serve our clients better? And what does that really look like? So in the beginning, it looked like a hot mess and we work, <laughs> we work through the challenges and um, the ups, the downs. And we found a secret sauce to our success of what really works in a collaboration based on our flip flops of what did not work for a collaboration. But that is pretty much how we came together. And that is what we are now teaching and giving everybody that secret sauce to our success. Yeah. I love it. And so um, we're in Texas. So for everybody that doesn't know who we are, we're in Texas. And so we were shut down for a few months. And so we kind of put our brains together. And like she said, we, we tried to figure out what would be the best solution for our clients. So I kind of want everybody to understand what collaboration means. And I have like the definition, which sometimes definitions aren't the best. This is really the best for what collaboration is. It's the action of working with someone to produce or create something which is exactly what we did. We really want you to understand there's three main things that a business um, has problems with. Number one is clear messaging, right? Sometimes you may be searching something and you fall upon a business and you're like, what do they do? Their name has nothing to do with what they do. Uh, their imaging has nothing to do with what they do. And so there's no clear messaging for the client to really understand what it is they do. The other thing that you see is they don't really know who they're serving. Like, who is their client? Who are they? Like, is it the correct client that they're serving? Another thing that we see is that client, uh, that businesses don't really, we had, we had three. So help me out here. Two, wait, hold on. Who can you actually collaborate with and with yes. in order to solve that problem, yes. which is so really one of the main sticking points as far as like what we really learned. Well, most people want, don't know what the problem is. They don't know what they're solving. And so they go to, well, I should just find someone to collaborate with. And so what ends up happening is, and we've heard these stories and we're going to bring people on to share these stories. Um, and we've been through it as well. You sometimes hope that you're going to find someone to collaborate with to help you fix a problem in your business versus finding a collaborator that's helping solve the problem for your customer. So two completely different things. And a lot of people want to skip. They want to just go, hey, my business isn't set up 100%. I don't have clear branding. I don't know who I'm branding to. I don't know who I'm selling to. 
but let me find somebody to fix my problem. And that's not the way and that's not the key. Um, a lot of the other things too that we we saw that when we went through these collaborations is that not everybody has the same outcome. So we may have we may have collaborated and say, you know what, this doesn't fit my customers' needs, doesn't fit your customers' needs, which happened with a lot of our vendors. So we really want to teach you the fundamentals, but before we even go into collaborations, we've just decided to to look at your business and do a quick audit. A lot of the times, most of the times, it's really your business that doesn't have the clear messaging. So those are things that we're going to take you through. Um, we are all about real life. We're all, we're all about the good, the bad, and the ugly. And then we're also all about the wins and the successes. So we are not only going to bring what we've gone through, but other people in our industry. And then we'll be bringing on guests that do podcast collaborations, virtual collaborations. Um, we've seen, and I'm sure you guys have as well, but um, conference collaborations, putting two completely different industries together. But if you really start to understand what the problem is for you and what your um, solution is going to be, we will help you find your perfect co collaborator. And it is going to take time. Um, what else did I miss on that? I don't know. I think you hit it when you said just keeping it real. Um, I think the number one thing, because we've gone through this, you take classes, you do a workshop, people give you great information, which is wonderful, but we don't just give you information. We actually give you the practical side of helping you walk through step by step. How do you do this? How do you successfully do a collaboration with another person, another business company, whatever entity, um, good services, whatever it is, how do you actually do it? And then why are you going to be doing this? And what should be the outcome on the end? And our hope is because like we said, we've, we've done it, we've done it multiple times with different companies, we've done it with ourselves. And so our whole goal is to help you get that, take another step ahead to be successful in your business. And we'll teach you what we've learned practically to put in place for your business so that you can grow every that's the biggest thing grow for your for yourself and be of a bigger service to your clients yeah i love it so with that being said we will have more to come if you visit our website if you go to ygcollaborations.com uh, we're gonna have workshops that we're quarterly we'll be able to do them in person if you're in the houston market we'll also um, be doing surveys to see if we want to do some virtually. Uh, but the main thing is there's more to just the collaboration piece. We want to make sure that that's really what you're looking for. Uh, we're going to teach you the difference between a collaboration, a partnership, and then is it something that your business is needing? So is it branding? Is it um, clear messaging? Is it re kind of redoing who your um trying to serve. I, again, a lot of the times we meet businesses that don't really have a clear message of who they are, what they do and yep. who they're serving. Um, this, you know, this platform for finding your perfect collaborator is what it is. We are not doing anything else other than figuring out who it is you are, what problem you're trying to solve for your client. And is there someone out there that can help you as well as you helping them? Because it is two sided. It should never be a one sided, um, project because that won't serve anybody that'll waste your time your collaborators time and it's not going to solve the problem for your client so more to come uh, if you want to go to the website now you can go to ygcollaborations.com and then we will be putting all of our um, recordings on YouTube so you can definitely follow us on your YouTube channel and then we will be um, launching this on on all platforms for podcasting so Apple Spotify Google Play and Stitcher so you'll be able to listen or watch whichever one you prefer um, until then we'll see you in a couple of weeks all right bye bye